Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today, and today we're going to be talking about the Houston Texans potentially trading for three-time Pro Bowler Dalvin Cook, running back of the New York Jets. As Dalvin Cook has been struggling this season, he only has 39 carries for 114 rushing yards, and as the emergence of uh, Brees Hall, and now that he's, you know, on, you know, as the full-time starting running back for the New York Jets, he's getting 100% of the snaps as the starting running back, now that he's cleared to a hundred percent play for the Jets and it's been playing outstanding for the New York Jets. The New York Jets are trying to trade away Dalvin Cook, a three time a four time Pro Bowler, my bad. Uh was a Pro Bowler from 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, and, and through that stretch was one of the best running backs in football. But then uh the Vikings released him due to contract issues over the offseason. He signed with the Jets. Was supposed to be a great weapon for them uh with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers tears his Achilles and Brace Hall goes crazy and in seven games, he's had uh, 39 carries for 114 rushing yards and only seven first downs. So, and his only his longest carry has only been for 10 yards. Now, the Texans' run game has not been good either. Uh, to you know, this past game for the Texans, they only had 76 rushing yards, and I think they ran the ball uh, like 24 times. So, uh, was not successful at all for the Houston Texans. Or I think they, they ran the ball more than that. They ran they they ran the ball like twenty five or twenty six times in the game. So um, yeah, I think they ran the ball twenty six times uh, in their loss to the to the Panthers yesterday, fifteen to thirteen. Texans Twitter's going crazy uh, with the Texans, you know, needing to pass the ball more. And if they're going to run the game, you know, run, run the football, acquire a trade for a running back. And one of the biggest names has been that has been passed been passed around is Dalvin Cook. Dalvin Cook is a good running back. He's just not, you know, he's just in a terrible situation right now with the New York Jets uh, with, you know, Brees Hall playing lights out. Um, and this would be a cheap addition for the Texans. And it's a, uh, it's a low-cost, high-reward situation for the Houston Texans. And it could be, if it's just, you know, you trade a sixth or seventh round pick for him and he really does nothing, and Damian Pierce and Devin Singletary start to play better for the Texans in the backfield. But you add in a Pro Bowl uh, running back to potentially, you know, boost, you know, some, some, you know, some run game for the Texans. Um, and I think it would be a good addition for the Texans. I really do. You're not looking at a big price. I mean, um, it would probably be a six-round pick. Uh, send a six-round pick to the Jets. Get Dalvin Cook. I think they have a done deal. Uh, I think at this point the Jets are probably pretty much ready to release Dalvin Cook. And if they can get a six-round pick from him, nobody really has any interest in Dalvin Cook. If they can get a six-round pick from him, uh, the Jets would definitely dump his contract off. I mean, he's, he's only making like $5 million a year but um, on a one-year contract. but So that wouldn't be a problem for the Texans. But let's go over, for you know fans, Texans fans that don't know, let's go over his stats uh, this four Pro Bowl years. Uh, 2022 with the Vikings, 17 games, 17 starts. 1,173 rushing yards, 8 rushing touchdowns for 300 receiving yards and 2 receiving touchdowns. 2021, he had a total of uh, 1,160 rushing yards, 6 touchdowns, and 224 receiving yards. Uh, 2020, he had uh, 1,557 rushing yards, 16 touchdowns, and... He had 44 receptions for 361 receiving yards and one touchdown. 2019 with the Vikings, also a Pro Bowl year. He had 1,135 rushing yards, and he had um, that. He also had 13 touchdowns that year, and he had 519 receiving yards. Uh, so great year for uh, Dalvin Cook. Great years from Dalvin Cook from 2019 through 2022. Now let's look at what the other guys in the backfield for the Texans this year have produced. Damian Pierce and Devin Singletary, it has not been good. Damian Pierce in seven games uh, has a total of 90, or I think, yeah, it's today he had uh, 12 carries. So, so far in the season, Damian Pierce has uh, 97 plus 12 is 109. Has 109 carries for two, two three, uh, sorry, 109 carries for 327 rushing yards and one touchdown. And receiving, he has nine receptions for 84 receiving yards. Now on the other end, Devin Singletary for the Texans. Um, he's played seven games with zero starts, and as until I don't, I can't remember how many uh, carries Singletary got today, but it says uh, it, it says he had 39. He has 30, 39 carries on the season, and then add uh, add whatever 
how many how many carries he got today. It might have been ten today, uh, or it might have been twelve. I don't know. Um, so it's either it's either forty nine or uh, fifty one carries on the season, and he has one hundred eighty three rushing yards for five first downs, zero touchdowns, and on the receiving end has twenty nine receiving yards, and has even thrown a touchdown pass. He threw a touchdown pass to Dalton Schultz in week four against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So that's what the Texans run game has looked this season. It's not been good at all. They're averaging, I think, I think Damian Pierce is averaging like three and a half rushing yards, uh, three and a half uh, rushing yards per carry. And Devin Singletary isn't doing much better. So, you know, I think to add in a guy like Dalvin Cook to, you know, improve that run game would really help the Houston Texans. And it's going to only cost a sixth round pick or a fifth round pick to get him. Even though you're you're taking away carries from Damian Pierce and uh, Devin Singletary, if the Texans can get Dalvin Cook for a fifth or a sixth, you pull the trigger no matter what. Um, no matter uh, how much you like Damian Pierce, I think this would be a great trade for the Texans, and especially if they want to run the football to, to you know more. If the Texans are gonna you know like today, they ran the ball thirty times and only got hundred ten yards and only got. Uh, 76 r- rushing yards from their two best running backs. So if you're going to run the football 25 times and only get 76 yards from your two best running backs, you either, not, you either need to not run the football um, or get a running back th- running back that's going to do better. I think they – actually, I think they ran the ball like 26 or 27 times and only got 76 yards with their two uh, best running backs. So got to do better. Uh, if you're the Texans, that's it. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and peace out. Go Texans.